Hello, it's me. Should I just sing Adele instead of talking? Hi guys, Dave the NC Picker here, and I'm about to blow your mind with all my eBay sales. Not really, but I do have some eBay sales. And today in this video, we're gonna pull them, we're gonna pick them, we're gonna pack them. Yeah, we might not pack them. <laughs> uh, how many do I have? I was trying to see. I have some number of sales on eBay. Let's see if we can figure out. Ooh, I got an offer and then it got retracted. 26 eBay sales to pull today. That is not bad at all. And I also did a whatnot auction last night. <laughs> oh boy, it went real bad. Real, real bad. All right, so out of bin 48, we sold some shoes. Where's bin 48? Yeah, I did, I don't know. I knew from the beginning that it, and maybe it was because I knew it was gonna go poorly that it went poorly. Like it's one of those psychological things. But uh, I think I told you guys, I wasn't prepared at all, really. I did almost no prep work on it. I, I got like this comment stuck in my head. Someone just commented on one of my videos and it's like permeating through my brain right now. I was like not even like looking at comments. I was just checking out my channel, seeing my latest video did. The top comment there was, don't use a realtor to sell your house. And like now I'm just like thinking about that. <laughs> uh, it's like an interesting thought. I hadn't even considered it. Um, it seems like more work to not involve a realtor but it would save me a lot of money, right? Like the real estate agents have like 6% fees. So that's a lot of money. I mean, don't, and my math might be wrong. If it was a hundred thousand dollar house, that'd be six grand. So that's a really interesting thought that now is permeating into my brain and distracting me. Thank you, commenter. <laughs> uh, anyways, see, so we already had been talking to someone, but we never signed up with them. I don't know, I'll talk to Tina about it. It's an interesting idea. It seems like work, though. I sold these Teva sandals that I got at a yard sale. Well, they took a little while, but it definitely paid off. They had the tag on them. So we sold those for $49.99 plus shipping. Anyway, so yeah, those sandals were a good pickup. I, I can't actually remember what I paid for them. But my guess is I didn't pay more than 10 bucks because I can't remember ever paying more than 10 bucks for sandals. Uh, usually I pay like five for sandals. What did I sell a book? I sold the book out of this bin. So yeah, anyways, the whole house thing. We're not gonna talk too much about the idea of moving. Um, like I said in the last video, my boss approved it. I'm looking. I'm looking at houses on, you know, Realtor and all that. And, you know, that's the whole thing. Really, I've still been so distracted with my work, hey. my day job. Yes, Callie? I just finished my dinner. Nice, good job. Yeah, I sold Arkham Asylum Madness, hardcover book. Oh, yeah, it's a Batman book. Arkham Asylum's like where Joker was imprisoned, right? Is that right? Is it Joker? Yeah, there's Joker and the Riddler. Man, they probably both got imprisoned there. But anyways, that Arkham Asylum Madness book was sold for $10 plus shipping. But that book, I got it at a sale in Florida, actually. A yard sale in Florida. It was like a shop in St. Augustine that was closing down. He was like a, a flipper. I think it was like my, I think the title was like favorite yard sale of 2020. Yeah, so that was a good one. And definitely worth checking out if you haven't seen that video yet, although my camera angles weren't perfect. But that was like in a big bundle I paid a hundred bucks for. Sold the Rainmaker on DVD. Um, might be a problem here because it says brand new sealed on the listing and that is not sealed. Uh, huh. Oh no, look. The cover art looks different too. So there must have been two Rainmakers. Let me look down here. Hold on. Yeah, there is. Look at this. We got the Rainmaker and the Rainmaker. So this one is Burt Lancaster and Kate. I don't know. It's covered by a $4.99 sticker. And this one is John Grisham starring Matt Damon. So, okay. That's Danny DeVito. Okay, so there must have been two versions. I think this is probably the older one. And uh, that sold for $5 plus shipping. The battery compartment is empty, so I must have taken the batteries out. Um, I do remember testing this, so it must have worked at the time. I don't really feel like getting a screwdriver and like retesting it because I know it worked when I listed it. But basically it sings like some sort of a gloomy Eeyore song. $25 for that plush, which I think is pretty, pretty, pretty good. And what's it? I think it just says Disney on the tag. No, it doesn't even. It just says 1999 El Segundo, California. So be on the lookout for that Eeyore. It's worth good money. So yeah, that's neither here nor there. Basically, it's a little more exhausting. What is this, a pen? I sold a pen. It's a little more exhausting to do your auctions that way, but that, that wasn't the issue. The issue was WhatsApp was broken. 
like it kept having these really weird glitches where my screen would freeze and they couldn't see the item. People at the auction couldn't see the item. And then they'd be commenting in the chat and I couldn't see their chats. And this still isn't the worst part because there's a, a, a part that's really frustrating that happened too, which we'll talk about in a minute. I just was having a lot of issues with the app itself. And I was having to like leave the auction, come back to the auction. And when I did that, it would like replay my trailer, which was just me talking over myself, which anyways, so the result of this, of course, when you have a lot of glitches and technical difficulties is people start bailing, right? So, and obviously you want people in your auction. If people aren't in your auction, there's no one to bid against each other and items start going for less and less money, which again, I don't really care about things going for less money because my cost is low on a lot of this stuff anyway, so it's not a big deal. But really what was getting to me was the fact that I just kept having to like leave the stream and come back to the stream. Probably to do it like 15 times, which it's just irritating. So anyways, it wasn't going well. Hey look, I've got a giant thing of LOL dolls. I think this was an auction and it never sold. Should relist it. That happens a lot, right? An auction and then the auction doesn't uh, doesn't sell and then I forget to relist it as a fixed price or relist it as an auction again and then it just sits wherever in whatever bin I put it in and never gets relisted. Yeah, okay, I found it. This is an Avon pen, you know, like a writing utensil. It's a pen from Avon, sold for six bucks plus shipping. Yeah, that's something. It was in that big Avon buy I did, the giant tote from Donnie. Okay, so the other thing that happened that was frustrating in my whatnot auction is they have this new feature where you can do giveaways, right? So during your auction, you can give away an item. So I could hold up, you know, an Eeyore and say this is a giveaway. It lets you pin it and then people can enter the giveaway. People can enter the giveaway and win a prize. So and what the way they do it is like they'll deduct the shipping cost from your whatnot seller account. So, you know, I've done it before and usually I give away small stuff, right? Like an O snap. I say, okay, I'm gonna give away this O snap and someone will win it and it'll immediately deduct $4 from my whatnot balance. Free bin I'm trying to get right now is in the worst possible spot. Like I have to get something out of bin 12, a book, but I've got my whole entire whatnot auction in the way. So I have no way to get to it. So I was like, yeah, I'll pull that after the video. It's just a book anyways. And now I gotta get something out of 20B and I've got all this junk on the ground and 20B is back there in that corner. So having a lot of, a lot of bad luck here. Let me put down the camera. Ow. Okay, so I'm looking all over the garage for 20B and it's literally right next to this ladder on the floor. My whole entire area is such a mess right now, but it's sitting right here. Figures. Okay, anyway, so this sold out of here. This is like a brass hose. It's like a hose faucet and it's got a duck on the top. It's pretty cool. I found it at a yard sale and I thought it was nifty. So I grabbed it for, I think a dollar or two and it sold for uh, $30 plus shipping. So yeah, anyways, I do a giveaway. I did a couple giveaways and it deducts $3, deducts $3. And then I go to give away another O snap and the guy who wins it is from Australia. And whatnot instantly deducts $70 from my whatnot balance for shipping. 70 bucks. That's pretty frustrating because like, first of all, 70 bucks is really expensive. I could do international, uh, what is it called from pirate ship? Simple export rate for a lot cheaper, okay? And not only that, but if I'm gonna do a giveaway, so it's a $30 value for an O-Snap, 70 for shipping. That's a $100 value giveaway. I was planning on doing basically a $33 giveaway and again, it's not a big deal, but I don't think it's good to do that without letting a seller know like, hey, if you give this away, you could be charged up to $70 in shipping. It doesn't say that anywhere. Um, it doesn't let you choose, hey, I'm only gonna do a giveaway for the US because I don't wanna spend 40 bucks to ship it to Canada or 70 to ship it to Australia or something like that. You don't have that option. And so you just kind of get surprised with it, which is what happened to me. It's just like, hey, by the way, there's minus $70. So I sold these Tadmore golf heads, golf club heads. This whole bag, this whole priority flat rate mail bag is full of them. Those are all Tadmore golf heads. I got them at a yard sale for five bucks with a bunch of other golf club heads. I sold one of the putter heads, which was a Tadmore for a hundred bucks. That whole bag of them was 135 bucks. So definitely not worth as much as the other ones. But again, I paid $5 for the whole box and I've sold quite a few out of there. I would say my gross sales have to be at least $350 to $450 from that golf club head buy, 
which was a $5 buy. So really profitable. I'm excited to see those move. I, I sent out an offer and that's what finally got them moved. I think for a while I had them sitting at 200 bucks there. Well, no, I did a 10% offer, so I guess I had it at 150. I sold this truck, this Nylant truck. You know, I listed all those Nylants last week, sold two or three of them last week, and then I sold this one today. I know I'm already in the profit. I'm already over on what I spent, and that one sold for $35. So again, yeah, that was just frustrating. You know, it's not the end of the world. I did sell two O-Snaps on eBay for 30 bucks a piece, but uh, it would have just been nice if O-Snap gave me, gave me an option of, hey, US only or whatever. Um, I did message whatnot support and they said I have two options one I can cancel the order and not do the giveaway which feels like a jerk move to me because I told the guy like you know when you're in my auction I say it's a giveaway and you're allowed to enter I feel like you should get the thing you want I don't think it's fair to just cancel on him they said another option I can do is I can ship it myself and because I kind of asked them if I could they said I could ship it myself and send them a receipt of how much I paid, and then, you know, they'll reimburse me from the $70 they already took from me. So if I did symbol up export rate, I think it'd be like 20 bucks. They'd reimburse me 50. I'll probably do that uh, tonight. So, Ecstatica, Ecstatica, yeah, number two on PC sold, and that sold for how much? $8 and one penny. Hey, one penny. Yeah, I mean, that whole pile of uh, USPS priority flat mail bags. Those are all things I have to ship for my whatnot sale, so I do have a lot to ship tonight. So I've got to ship all that whatnot stuff. I normally like to get up early, but I just didn't, so there's that. Uh, so since I didn't get up early, I mean, I got up early, but I didn't come out and work. I got up at 6.30 or whatever, and I just went and sat in my living room and watched TV, so. Anyways, that means I have to ship it all tonight, all the eBay, all the whatnot. It's going to be a long night. This is a lantern, Coleman lantern. Got to be honest, it sounds like it has the like, gas in it. So I think I have to dump it out somewhere into like a, a bucket or something. And I don't know, but I, I, I <laughs> so I got two of these. One was green and one was this one, which I think is brown. Let's look at it. And I listed this one first and didn't notice. Yeah, here it is. Didn't notice that it felt like it was full of liquid. But then I went to list the other one, noticed the liquid and said, hey, I'm just not going to list this. But I'd already put that one up and I was like, I wonder if that had liquid in it. Never went back and checked. I've sold it. It definitely has some liquid in it that I have to get rid of. I hear it. That sold for a lot of money, though. That Coleman Lantern with the carrying case sold for $180 plus shipping. So definitely be on the lookout for that. I think I paid right along the lines of $20 for it. Did, uh, I don't know if someone said this to me. Maybe it was on the podcast. Maybe Carrie said it. I don't know. For some reason, someone said this to me or I thought of it. I can't remember which one, but North Coast Picker. North Coast Picker. That's what it could be. We were talking, so if you're new here, we've been talking about like what NC Picker could stand for. Because in the beginning it stood for North Carolina, but I'm probably going to move to Florida. And I will be moving to the north coast of Florida, like north near the ocean in Florida. So I could be the north coast picker. I mean, I think really what I, what I want to be is just NC Picker. But if people asked, at least I have something that kind of makes geographical sense. Maybe I thought of it because Carrie said... You just need to think of a city or a location that's north something. And uh, yeah, so I thought of that, or someone told, I, I really, I can't even take credit because I can't remember. We do our podcast so late that my brain doesn't really work when we do it. <laughs> so I can't really remember. But I know it was during the podcast that I, it came about. North Coast Picker. It could work, guys. Apparently I have uh, Blu-rays in here too. Found it, found it. Gettysburg Blu-ray, new and sealed sold. New and sealed sold for how much? $7.65. You know it would be interesting to go through some of my whatnot sales just to see the kind of money you make on whatnot. So I sold a lot of DVDs. It was four DVDs, Donnie Darko, um, Apollo 13 sealed, My Cousin Vinny sealed, and then one other one that was unsealed, like a concert one. Sold the four for eight bucks. Sold an Amazon Echo for 20 bucks. You know, the gray ones. It's Callie's, actually. Sold a Battle Troll, like a vintage little... Uh, one of these guys. Similar to one of these guys, but not this one. For 8 bucks, And that one's broken, too, so definitely not that one. I sold an LP for a dollar, like a record. Definitely didn't do well on the record. <laughs> Another interesting one is My American Girls that I got at that yard sale where the lady, like, was trying to make me pay more. And I ended up paying, like, 25 per American Girl. And one of them ended up not being an American Girl. I sold one of those on whatnot and sold it for $27. So those are basically going to be a loss probably. 
Gettysburg was $7.65. That's what I got for it. It is what it is. Every now and then you don't do the best buy. Uh, you know, but you gotta just kinda take the good with the bad, I guess. I have so many records and laser discs and stuff like that. It's kinda crazy. All right, I did sell a spawn figure. Hopefully I can find it here. Yeah, it's like my last, one of my last ones. This is Spawn, uh, Art of Spawn. Uh, what is it? Series 8? Issue 8 cover art. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And that one sold for good money, too. $62.99. $62 yeah. Had it listed at 70 but sent a 10% off offer. What do you guys think of Rodney Dangerfield? He was a little bit before my time. Sold uh, Back to School by Rodney Dangerfield for $5 plus shipping. I'd be interested to see your thoughts. Actually, $4.49. So, kind of a low value item, but that's all right. I sold a t shirt. I'm trying to see which one it is. I think it's this one, this little pink one. And I believe it's Coldplay. Yeah, it's Coldplay shirt. And Brandon got this at a thrift store and sent it to me. It's like a child size. It's very, very tiny. It actually says size 12, which I guess must be like 12 year old girl. Uh, but that sold for $10.79. Plus shipping. I kind of made a huge mess in the garage when I was trying to prep for that auction last night because I wasn't ready and I'm just like, oh, what am I going to sell? And I just like started pulling stuff out of like bins and stuff. Not like listed bins, but unlisted bins. I sold this Sony remote for 10 bucks. It's like a Blu-ray player remote, so that's not bad at all. I'm sure I got it for next to nothing at a yard sale. I've been, uh, I've been like not spending money for my flipping like account, right? Because... Well, there's no yard sales, and I've been on vacation, so anyways, I just haven't, haven't really been spending much. And so it's crazy, because like my account is actually building up and growing. <laughs> like, all last year, it wasn't hardly moving at all, because every time I got money, I'd go to yard sales and spend every penny I had. Really good, uh, really good businessman, just spend everything. <laughs> do, what I, do what I say, not what I do. Actually, do neither. Do what you want. Because <laughs> neither is probably good, but yeah, I'd just been spending so much sourcing that like my bank account was always like pretty low. I was just constantly sourcing or building out this garage or buying camera equipment or whatever I was doing. I was just constantly spending. I sold these three dot hack uh, manga books uh, as a bundle for thirteen ninety nine plus shipping. But yeah, like I said, I'm not really spending anymore. And then. Even when, like, winter was here, I was, like, still not really saving any money because I kept buying stuff on whatnot. <laughs> it's it's totally possible that I'm a spendaholic. I also sold AI Love You, which is another manga, to the same person. Zachary, thank you for your order. Although I don't think you're a viewer. I uh, sold that for $7.99. I really don't get any viewer sales anymore, which is fine. But I used to. Maybe it's because uh, my viewers are just finding me on whatnot. So it's more fun. But uh, 8B, what did I sell? Maybe I sold a Chewbacca. So yeah. Anyways, the moral of the story is if you don't spend money but you earn money, you end up having more money. So that's that's kind of cool. I like that. I might try this uh, conserving money thing more often. I've got two Chewbaccas here. I'm not sure which one's sold. They look exactly the same, I think. They're little cake toppers. Maybe I just put quantity two. Yeah, this is a quantity two. So I sold it for $4.49. I mean... These were in a big bag of things I got for like three three bucks, so that's pretty nice. I'll uh, end up getting ten bucks. I hope that was really in 16B because that's where I just put it back. Oh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Huh. Now, I don't know if I should blame eBay or myself here, but I went back and I hit promote my listings like three, four weeks ago, right before the break. And I did like basically the eBay recommended plus 4% or something max of 10% promoted. And I just looked, that Chewbacca figure was promoted at 11.2%. I never said I wanted to go above 10%, but somehow it was promoted at 11%, which is literally like a lot of money, a lot of percent, a lot of percentages. <laughs> it's 44 cents on a $4 and $40, 40 cent purchase. So it's like brings it down to 389. I need to turn off all my promoteds. I know people tell me not to, but I'm like, I'm so done with it, I gotta be honest. I'm just so, like, with what not existing, it makes me sick paying eBay 22% fees on something like this. That's like a quarter of the value of the item goes to eBay. For why? Just because they created this promoted thing. Like, they decided to do promoted, and now I have to do 20% fees? Ridiculous. 
I'm sorry, I'm complaining. <laughs> I try not to complain, but eBay's greediness does get to me from time to time. Nearly in there trying to turn off promotions right now because I always say it and I never remember to do it. And so this time I'm going to try to remember to do it. Edit promoted listings. So look, edit promoted listings. Edit listings in bulk. Do not promote listings. <laughs> Take that, eBay. Save and close. Here we go. 2,000 listings being unpromoted right now. Wish me luck. Watch as my sales tank and my video links get significantly shorter. But I'm just, I'm so sick of giving that them that. I'd rather give the savings to the people. I really would. Like, I'd rather do a 10% sale and let the buyer get that extra 10% than let eBay get it. Am I, am I bitter? I'm not trying to be bitter, but submit changes. Confirm and submit. 45 errors. 1955 being updated. Okay. So anyways, that was me passive aggressively canceling all my promotions on my store. Let's see what happens to it. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just think it's, it's unreasonable. Not only that I'm forced to promote my stuff, but on top of that, they're going above the 10% that I told them they could do. And they're doing 11%, which is just ridiculous. All right, so this uh, little Frodo Baggins sold, and he's like a Funko Pop thing. He sold for $4.50. I'm going to look at that Spawn figure that sold for $62 and see what the promo rate on that was. Yeah, this is interesting. So, oops, dropping stuff. So the Spawn figure that I sold, sold for $74.74 with shipping. eBay took $9.94 in fees. That's like 12 13%? That's more than 10% fees. And then there's an additional $6.30 in ad rate, which is 10% of the $63 sale. So that was 10% as well. On top of the $9.94, so $16 in fees on that spawn. I'm like, ugh, it's gross, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little frustrated. I think that's really ridiculous. I think the gouging by eBay has gotten out of hand. And I think they're out of touch, too, because, like, we're not going to all stick around. There's other options becoming available. Like, you got to treat your, your people right and not charge them to the moon and back to sell stuff. Eh, anyways, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out as more people move to Whatnot and Facebook and Mercari and Poshmark. And, uh, you know, eBay's good, but that's, that's kind of frustrating. <laughs> this is, like, just me complaining. Oh, I almost just fell. Ooh, that was close. <sighs> I like to make my artwork realistic and almost fall off my ladder. Is this one that sold? Yeah, Old Curiosity Shop, Department 56 sold. It's kind of a cool one. And uh, I had a lot of those like all white silhouette ones that I didn't like, but this one I kind of like. It's an actual nice house. Sold for 24 bucks, 23.99 plus shipping. So here's the thing. There's like this thing on eBay with promoted listings where where I think I read this, that even if you turn off promoted, if someone who saw it because of promoted buys it within 30 days, you still have to pay the promoted fee. So what I'm wondering is, is there a way to like trick the system? Like if I ended all my listings on eBay right now and then relisted them and then they sold tomorrow, would I not have to pay the promoted fee? Wonder, the thing called love on Laserdisc sold Probably for five dollars, because that's what Laserdisc sells for. Four forty nine, sell for, not sells for. Four forty nine for the thing called love. All right, so I accidentally just had my camera off for a minute. I'm not sure. I, I was, I said some stuff. I don't remember what, but uh, I don't know if I told you. I sold Russia with love for five dollars on Laserdisc as well. Um, and I don't know. I, I might have gotten the other Laserdisc. It was the thing called four four forty nine technically. And then I sold some out of PV4. So what was I talking about? I got totally distracted. Anna came out. I was talking to her. I turned off my camera. Thought I turned it back on. I don't know. It was a bit of a mess. But anyways, what I did do is I rage deleted a bunch of, well, I rage unpromoted a bunch of listings. That's right. I was saying I wonder if we could trick eBay by like turning off all my listings, like uh, deactivating them and then reactivating them so that they don't charge me promoted fees if they sell. But yeah, I think I want to go back to doing promos where like I give the end user a discount. I'd rather do that than give eBay 25% in fees, plus whatever fees they're taking for processing payment, which who knows what those are. Um, I bet I could figure it out, but Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles on Wii sold, and that one sold for a lot, $35, $32.99 plus shipping. 
Okay, so that means the total amount of like revenue gross from those eBay orders is $1,078. But I gotta figure out how to ship that lantern. That's one thing. And apparently I'm paying like 20% 20 20 in fees on eBay, which is brutal. Which would be like $220 on fees. <laughs> so $220 in fees. It says it's gonna cost me like $150 to ship it. So three, so 400 in fees out of the 1,078. So it's still 678 dollars potentially. eBay is taking too big of a cut though. I'm frustrated by that. Uh, especially, you know what it is? The thing that really got to me was that it was over the 10 percent that I said was my cap. Maybe their their technology is just not smart enough. Like they tried to and they messed it up by accident or whatever. I'm sure that was what it was, but still frustrating. And then on Whatnot, I sold $390 and then $70 for a giveaway. The fees on Whatnot are much more reasonable. They're like, they're kind of like eBay without the promoted, right? So like 10%, you know, 12, there's a like credit card processing fee that's like 3% or like, no, I don't know. Carrie could tell you, I think the credit card processing fee is like 30 cents. And then, so if it's a really cheap item, it's 30 cents plus their like 10%, which ends up being a lot. So I think if you sell an item on whatnot for a dollar, you only get like 56 cents. So that's brutal. But once you get above a dollar, it gets, you know, the percentage turns back in your favor. So, so I mean, I could assume like 50 bucks in fees plus a stupid $70 giveaway is $120 there minus subtracting that from my 390 in sales. It's 270 plus 600, six, 770, 870. So it's like $870 in the last 48 hours. So it's pretty good, guys. I'm fussing a lot today. I'm sorry I'm fussing a lot. Um, I'm actually in a, a fairly good mood. I just am, am chatting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. Come back next time. Bye-bye.